Hello, my strong, strong friends. Welcome back to our deadlift series. Of course, we're gonna keep talking about the deadlift. This video is gonna be hopefully pretty precise and short, and we're gonna talk about three common mistakes that I see with newer lifters in the deadlift. Now, these are gonna be things that are super easy to fix, so take note and look at any videos, and if you see some of these common mistakes, then maybe you can just quickly address them. I think um, these are some of the like low-hanging fruit that you can address very easily. So first thing is probably the easiest thing you can do is make sure that you're wearing the proper shoe. Sometimes you'll see people just wearing a general gym shoe or like a Nike trainer. You want to look for a flat-soled shoe, so something like a Chuck Taylor, um, Vans are great, um, anything that's flat. I often deadlift in my socks when I'm pulling sumo, or if I'm pulling conventional, you could even wear a heeled weightlifting shoe. Now, it's not ideal because you do add a little bit of height, so you're pulling a little bit longer than would you be normally pulling from the floor. But um, with that, never pull in a heeled weightlifting shoe if you're using a sumo stance. It's just not ideal, uh, so avoid that at all costs. Just make sure you're not wearing one of those cushy running shoes that are meant to absorb. You want to get something flat soled so you can feel and push into the ground with your feet. The second common thing that we see is when a lifter's hips start to rise before too early. So you'll see sometimes lifters will like dip into their start position and you'll notice their hips rise a couple inches or even more before they're actually pulling the barbell off of the floor. So watch your videos and keep note of where your actual true start position is, where the weight actually leaves the ground. That is where you wanna start. The last super easy thing to fix with your pool is just to ensure that you're not overextending the pool. Sometimes you'll see people, even in competition, they'll want to like sell it to the judges that they've completed the lift and you'll notice them overextend and continue to, it's not continuing the pull because the bar has already met the hip, it's that they're bending their spine a little bit and leaning back into the lift. Uh, this can be detrimental to your lift and maybe cause even a red light because that can cause you to uh, soften your knee. So make sure that you're not overextending. Whenever the shoulders are over the hips and your um, hips are forward, and locked out and your glutes are tight, that's when the lift is finished. Just make sure that your joints are straight and you're standing straight up and down. Um, any Anything more than that can be detrimental, can cause those soft knees, or can cause in some unnecessary pain or injury even. So just make sure that you're avoiding that. So that's all I have for my top three super easy common mistakes that you can easily correct. Just make sure you're wearing the proper shoe, Make sure you're not overextending and watch that start position. And that's all I got. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.